Hi guys, I want to take a minute to kind of break down a video I have where I talk about the common stitches that I use. I refer to them as the chunky, the tight, the pearl, knitting, and so forth. So I wanted to break them up. This video is just about like the chunky stitch. It's usually referred to as like a chunky braid stitch, but I usually just say it's a chunky stitch or I call it the three over one stitch. So whatever loom you have, I'm going to use one strand of worsted weight yarn for this tutorial. Again, if you're using it, you probably, the stitch would be a little trickier with a really bulky yarn, but again, you can try it. You can try doubling up your yarn if you need to, but again, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to just use one strand. And you can also do this in a round as well, but for the, again, I'm going to show you it just as a flat panel. If you're doing this as a flat panel, grab your working yarn and gently wrap. Be careful about wrapping too tight. If you wrap too tight, you're not going to be able to do what we need to do in the end. We need to have pegs with four loops on them in order to knit over a three over one. So gently push these down and go back and wrap again, keeping it kind of loose. I'm just letting it glide through my fingers. I'm not forcing it. I want it to be loose. And as you can see, our end pegs here don't have enough on it yet, but our middle pegs have three. So now what we can do as we're working over, gently push them down, as you can gently again wrap, and there's four. It's easy to kind of work one peg at a time as well if you're somebody that is worried about your tension. Then again, grab the bottom three over your top. Go to the next one, gently wrap it. Grab your bottom three and over the top. Gently wrap over the top. Now, as you notice, when we get to these end pegs, there's only two, so we're not really going to be doing anything with them. If you wanted to, you could just regularly knit them if you want everything to be on the same page, or you can wait until they have four to do. Like, here's two. Let me separate them so you can see. So what I'm going to do, because it's an end peg, I'm just going to gently wrap it. And that's going to give me my three, and the next time I come over, I can do the chunky stitch. But now, you should be back to all of them, just checking, having one strand for the middle pegs at least. Gently wrap. Oops, put that down, it makes it easier. So we're going to gently wrap. Again, you do not want it to be too tight, otherwise you won't be able to get them over. So check your yarn to make sure it's not coming off too hard, but just gently wrap it. Again, we've got three here, so the next time we get around to this one, we can. But these we gotta push down to give yourself more room. Okay, and gently wrap them. This is gonna be the third. As you can see, we got three. So on our next trip around, we'll be able to do these. So we're gonna just gently wrap them. And again, you check this end one. And we have three loops on the bottom, one on the top. So you can go ahead and knit this one over. If you're working this as a flat panel, in the round, you will just keep going around and around so you won't have to worry about the end pegs as much. And then just push these down. As you can tell, in the middle we have enough to do. We have enough to do all the way over. So we're going to gently wrap, knit over, gently wrap, and knit over. And this is all you're going to do, working back and forth, to make this chunky braid stitch. It's really kind of a cool stitch, again, it gives it a little different look for when you're doing a hat or whatever project you want to do. Um, and sometimes you can make it where you can get away with one strand versus two, similar to how I do that tight stitch I talk about as well, which I'll do a separate video on what makes that the tight stitch. But we're just knitting over, and again, we, our end one has three, so we can actually work it. And that's all you're going to do is work back and forth. It's not going to come down through yet, but maybe you can see a little bit of it. As you can see, I'm going to work it down a little further for you so that you can see what it looks like on the loom a little more. But again, as you can see, I worked it down a little further, and it kind of produces somewhat of a thick stitch, too, if you look on the side. And again, I did the ends when I needed to, but you can choose something different. And this is kind of what it gives you when you get done. Again, if you're using a worsted weight, probably a level 4 normal yarn, this is what it would produce. Again, a thicker, bulkier yarn or a thinner yarn is going to produce a different look. But I like it. It's got a little stretch to it, not a lot, but a little. And it just kind of looks a little thicker and kind of gives you like almost like a braid look to it.